Welcome to Texilla Bites, feeding your check on your fast. I'm Patrick Norton. It feels like driving in the future is the kind of product claim that makes me groan loudly. And that's the line that's front and center at the top of Navdi.com. But having gotten a little FaceTime with a prototype of Navdi's heads up display yesterday, I gotta say, Navdi's working on something pretty cool. I don't know if the future is gonna feel like Navdi, but I think Navdi could make driving better now, at least if you like navigation tools and cell phones. So Navdi brings together a bunch of interesting things. A very bright Pico projector, maybe the only Pico projector I've ever liked, that lights up a 5.1 inch heads up display. That patent pending display brings navigation, text messages, and notifications from other iOS or Android apps together with OBD2 information from your car. It adds in a mic for voice recognition and an IR camera for touchless gesture control. Sound huge? It's all in a slim package that sits on your dashboard, powered by your OBD2 port or from 12 volts off your car's electrical system. Now, Navdi's gonna ship with support for Google Maps in the box, and the company is excited that they'll be able to deliver heads-up navigation info, left turn, that won't disappear because Uncle Timmy's texting you. Matter of fact, you can swipe right to dismiss any notification that shows up on the screen, or swipe left to say, answer that call from the office. I like it, though the touchless controls weren't integrated into the demo unit I got to check out. And those touchless controls working are gonna be critical to Navdi being awesome. So, what was working on that unit was OBD, to navigation and the Bluetooth link from the phone. Navdi's quoting 20,000 nits brightness for the screen, which means it's totally usable when it's bright and sunshiny outside. And when you adjust the fold up projector and screen, you really get the sensation that the information is floating out in front of you near the bottom of the windshield. So unless you're really in love with the color of your hood or the hood ornament on your vintage truck, Navdi's not gonna block anything useful in front of you. Don't want notifications from this or that application? Don't want your kids getting text messages or updates from social apps when they're in the driver's seat? Navdi promises that the user will be able to control what notifications they get. No text messages, text messages only when stopped. Parental control so that you can control what your kids have access to, and that access looks like it could be really extensive. Navdi says they're gonna ship with iTunes, Google's Play, Pandora controls, and they're hoping to bring on board a lot more navigation, auto, and entertainment apps before the units ship in early 2015. We didn't get a huge amount of time with Navdi, but I gotta say what I saw looked smart. A bright, crisp display, access to the apps you know and use on iOS and Android, no weird custom apps, no monthly fees, a simple silicon friction mount for the dash. Not my favorite, but Navdi says custom mounts are coming in the future. You can route your audio to the car stereo, your earpiece, or the speakers in the Navdi, and the gesture controls are coming from a third party that already has technology that works. Smart. You know what else is smart? Letting somebody else drive if you've been drinking. Seriously, drive sober or get pulled over. Nobody gets in their car thinking, I'm drunk, I'm driving, and I'm going to kill somebody tonight. Our sponsors at the NHTSA want you to know, on average, more than 10,000 people die on the road each year due to drunk driving. To stop this deadly epidemic, law enforcement in every state and most U.S. cities are going to be cracking down on drunk driving from August 15th through Labor Day. They'll see you before you see them. If you've been drinking, do me a favor. Please let a sober person drive. Wow, that was serious. You know what? So is keeping your eyes on the road, not on your phone, which brings us back to Navdi. Does driving in the future sound expensive? If you pre-order it 30 days from August 5th, it'll cost you $299, a fraction of what car manufacturers charge for in-dash systems. After that 30-day offer, the price is gonna go up to $499 until it ships, which is still a fraction of what a system would cost in a new car. And you probably won't get a cool heads-up display that looks like this. Screw driving in the future, I wanna try driving in the now with Navdi's display and touch gestures. Navdi.com is the website to learn more or pre-order a Navdi. Texilla.com is the place where my big weekly show takes place or you can subscribe on youtube.com slash techzilla. And if you want to learn how to tune up your car, you should check out this video on Die Tryin'. I'm Patrick Norton. Thanks for watching this episode of Techzilla Bites.